guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my fellow June bugs. Thank you so much for joining me again in this video. I know it has been some time since I've been um, on YouTube or filming, but um, life has just gotten in the way. I did get sick with COVID for a bit. I had family visiting, all the excuses plus more, but um, I am trying to get back into a routine of things and filming for you guys again. Um, sometimes I do just lose my mojo a little bit with these like YouTube videos and Instagram. Like sometimes I'm really into it and then sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? So if you do want me to get more videos, I would really love for you to uh, let me know, you know, engage in my content, give my videos a like and, you know, do send through requests. But um, just because I haven't been on YouTube doesn't mean I haven't been busy. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what this is. This is going to be a little uh, double Louis Vuitton reveal on two items that I actually sent in for repair. So these items are not actually brand new. They are from my own collection, but I did send it to Louis Vuitton for repair. And I wanted to reveal them to you guys because I am so excited. Before I start though, if you're new here, welcome. My name is June. I am a doctor by day, but I do make YouTube videos in my spare time. I do love all things luxury, but in particular, I love bags. I like dream about bags, especially vintage bags. So if that is your cup of tea, do subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram where I am a lot more active. So firstly, um, I just picked up these bags recently. So I've got two here. They're massive some boxes <laughs> I feel like I bought something from Louis Vuitton even though I didn't um, it's it's quite exciting actually now I do have the um, initial repair quotation that I got um, I spoke to Shannon O'Brien she's actually lovely um, I'm not sure if she specializes in like the repairs or whatever it is um, she saw my bag and sort of instantly was like amazed by it because they are vintage pieces they're quite old um they're sort of at least 30 years old both of these and we were kind of like bonding over like the quality of Louis Vuitton back in the days and like the quality of the canvas I actually really love that she appreciated that um so I've got two items here both of which I sent in on the 8th of March so March April May June I picked them up sort of start of June so it's it's about three months, so that's the longest that one of them took. The other one took two months, so I feel like three months rolled around really quickly. But um, yes, yeah, so I sent them in for repair, and I got my Noe repaired, and the other one was my Keep Hall Bandolier, both of which were really, really old. One of them was broken, like the D-ring on my Keep Hall was broken, so I needed to have that repaired. So for the um, Noe, I got quoted $990 to repair all of the Vachetta and then for the key pull I got quoted $1440 um, to replace all of the Vachetta including the bandolier strap. So without further ado let's get on to the reveal. I will show you the first one that came in that is my Noe bag here. So um, the gentleman I saw did actually kindly put it in a box. Anytime you get a repair product, they do actually put it in a dust bag as well. So that is it there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like getting a brand new bag. If you don't know, I will put my no way GM unboxing here somewhere or down below the no way GM I bought pre-loved very very vintage and I wanted it vintage because I really love like the the darker vachetta and it's just such a cool vintage looking bag I love the no way I used it as a uh, work bag for years and it was just really getting worn out in particular the trim on the top so I just thought look I'm not using it because I'm wearing worried about the um, canvas cracking so I just I wanted to replace all of it so are you ready for this bag reveal please welcome my old no way with a makeover da, 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 da. oh my god she is so stunning so they did a freaking amazing job and for 990 Australian dollars I pretty much got a freaking brand new bag oh my god okay so I don't have before pictures that's the only thing I'm really mad at myself about I should have taken photos before I took it in but it was just one of those things that was taking me forever to do I'd been meaning to do I just never got around to it so I just took every opportunity to sort of get it over and done with but 
they have replaced all the pochetta. So all of this on top was cracking. Um, and then they replaced the bottom as well, which wasn't in terrible condition. But when you replace pochetta, it's so obvious when you replace it. So I like if I'm going to replace one part of the pochetta, I actually like to get it all done at once. If this was in the Damier Evin, the coat canvas doesn't really oxidize. So I can happily just replace pieces of the leather there. But with pochetta, because it oxidizes, because it changes color, I wanted it to sort of be even. But look at that, it's brand spanking new. I haven't seen like fresh vachetta in so long because they're using like the oxidized vachetta now. I'm just having a look at the repairs. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, so they didn't replace the grommets because um, I wanted to keep the older grommets. They did replace the um, G rings there. I can see that it is actually new. So they replaced those. Um, I wonder if they put a date code because they used there was a date code on one side. I can't see any hot stamping of like the date. I guess because it's like a repair, they've replaced all of that. So that's the only thing. It no longer has like a um, a heat stamp in terms of like when it was made. But this is honestly freaking amazing. I am so 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 amazed. I am blown away you guys. I love it. I can't wait to use it. This is quite stiff still, but this is my new no way. I'm really excited. I love this bag and I'm so so glad I was able to sort of um, give her a new lease on life. So that is fantastic. Moving on to the most exciting repair that I have and that is in this bag right here. So I asked her for a box because the other guy put it in a box and then she's like, oh, we don't normally do that. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but she still did it anyways and she even put a ribbon on it, which was really nice. Maybe it was because it was raining. That's why the guy gave me a box. But I mean, don't really need boxes anyways. But it's just nice to sort of have it to unbox. Yeah. It's actually like getting a brand new bag. It's so exciting. So anyways, this is my Louis Vuitton um, Speedy Bandelier 45. It is my absolute companion when we're tr when I'm traveling. This is my carry-on and then I have like a luggage that I check in and I will put like all my bags in here and my laptop and everything. So let's open her up. So it comes in this flat box here. This is her! Oh my god, I am so beyond excited. I am going to Adelaide very soon, so I did need this. Please welcome my recently made over Keeple 45. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. I can't believe this is the bag that I had. I've owned for like 10 years now. This bag was originally made in... Let me just see if I can find... I wonder if they took it. So, this bag was made in 1984. And this one, they didn't take out the uh, date code because it didn't need repairing or replacement. So, that's the only thing I've noticed with the Noe. Because the replacement or the date code was on the strap itself, obviously, they took that out. So, it doesn't have a date code anymore. But this still has a date code of 84. Okay, so the service associate thought it was from 93. They don't know how to read a date code. Like, I was like, um, okay, you, it's actually 84. Girl, it's like nearly 40 years old. Like, that's how old this bag is. So, the D-ring came off, and that's why I needed to repair it. Otherwise, I was more than happy to keep using it. I actually kept the bandolier strap because um, I use that for my uh, Mini Speedy. But now I'm thinking I want to get my Mini Speedy repaired as well, my Mini Speedy HL, because it would look so amazing. But, yeah, I, I mean, I do love it. Um, I love my Mini Speedy as it is, like, really vintage with, like, a lot of um, patina on the fascetta. But I, I, I just love that bag so much. I wouldn't mind a, a new version of that bag. But, yeah, so this is what this looks like. Look how amazing this repair is. It's, like freaking brand new you guys and i'm actually worried about getting this damaged again <laughs> like i'm worried about having an even patina on this because 
there's so much vachetta and this is a travel piece so I'm just going to have to like lay it in the sun let it sort of even up do you think they replace a lot of like the hardware which I wish they did it because I kind of love the old hardware so they just took everything off and then replace it brand new um, I would have preferred if they did do that because I actually preferred the older vintage hardware. It was brass and um, it's just better quality I feel. Now it's sort of like gold tone hardware rather than rather than brass. But yeah, anyways, they replaced everything I guess that included the, um, the Vachetta. And then it did come with a brand new bandolier strap. So I think if you're going to get this repaired, keep your pieces like accessories because the replacement includes all of it anyway. So I got a new um, strap here. So brand spanking new. Oh my god. It's all so fresh. So I got a new bandolier strap, a new one of those holder things, which I never really used anyways, and then also a new luggage tag but um i am so <laughs> excited oh my god it's like getting a brand new luggage piece actually gonna have a look at how much they are brand new okay so a louis vuitton bandolier keep all 45 is 3550 so the repair of this was 1500 which is sort of half the price but when I bought the bag, I only bought it for $500 or $600 thereabouts. How much did I save? I still saved like $1,150 and I had used it for a good five years already. The strap didn't break on it. I would have kept using it for more and more years, but it was getting old. And the beauty of this one is the canvas on this is so much better than the current bags. Like... I would do it again. So those are the two bags I got repaired. I'm pretty stinking excited about them. I really love how they turned out. I definitely love the repair process of Louis Vuitton. They are like no other designer brand. I have never had a Chanel repair, but I don't I don't think it's as easy as getting a Louis Vuitton piece repaired. But yeah, their repair process is amazing. I 100% stand by it and it's just like a brand new bag and if you can buy a Louis Vuitton bag in like decent condition but the Vachetta is like all off you can get the Vachetta repaired um, and you'll essentially have a, a brand new bag like this for a fraction of the price it is still expensive but honestly in my opinion this is so worth it and I'm so so happy with this bag but yeah that is my repair process if you guys have any questions do let me know I will try and insert pictures but I apologize that I don't have any but if you look on my unboxings and um, my previous videos you can see what it looked like beforehand but yeah there's a lot of cracking of the Vachetta it was getting dried it was still functional until it sort of just eventually broke and then the Noe I was still able to use that but just the top bit was really cracking and exposing the canvas which I didn't want to continue damaging because once the canvas cracks and breaks that's sort of that's that's it like Louis Vuitton won't repair that so I think canvas is going to have to be your priority anytime you look at a Louis Vuitton bag I'm so excited about these two bags I'm so excited to use them again I'm not gonna lie and this one I am definitely gonna be using very very soon so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe um, to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and definitely give me a follow on Instagram if you want to see more handbag related content including how I style them if you have any requests um, do comment in the comment section below and as always hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye